This is Jibo Town in northern Burkina Faso, strategically located in the mineral-rich mountainous terrain of Burkina Faso. Because of its mineral endowment, this small town has for long played a pivotal role in the politics and security of Burkina Faso, with both militant forces and government desperate for full control. Between 2021 to 2023, this mineral reach town was besieged by the Jamaat Nusrat al Islam Wal Muslimin, JNIM, an Islamic State and Al Qaeda affiliated terrorist group. Over 370,000 people in this town faced acute shortage of food and other essential supplies as the militants ambushed and burnt any trucks destined to this town. The militiamen controlled the mining operations in this rich town, yet the people living in this town saw one of the most impoverished life, struggling to get even the basic of needs. On the 26th of September, 2022, a devastating ambush was orchestrated by the Al-Qaeda-affiliated terror group as a convoy of 207 vehicles delivering mostly food, water, and medical aid to the besieged citizens of Jibo came under attack. 37 people were killed and 70 truck drivers went missing to date. The country was caught in grief, as people totally lost trust in the ability of the government and the military forces of Burkina Faso to protect them. This attack, however, was a turning point in the leadership of Burkina Faso as it awakened the lion in Africa's most loved president today, Captain Ibrahim Traoré. As a result of this attack, Traoré decided to drive with his convoy to Ouagadougou with intention of speaking to Damaba about the lack of logistics for the army. However, Damaba gave him a deaf ear. Acting swiftly and decisively, Captain Traoré and his men orchestrated a bloodless coup disposing Damaba on the 30th of September, 2022, taking over the helm of the leadership of Burkina Faso at a critical moment in time. Many critics wondered how Traoré largely seen as a young and inexperienced leader was going to approach the challenges that engulfed the West African country at that time. Smart and intelligent, Ibrahim Traoré knew peace and stability were very crucial for him to lead Burkina Faso. This would help him win the trust of the populations and that of the military. He swiftly begun to reorganize his defense strategies. Top on Ibrahim Traoré's agenda was dismissal of French troops from Burkina Faso. Having served as the head of the artillery regiment, Ibrahim Traoré was in the know of highly classified operation details of the Burkinabi army. His deeper understanding enabled him to know that the French troops were part of the insecurity equation in the northern part of the country. The French military had for decades operated in Jibo, seemingly with the intention of promoting conflict in that region so as to enhance exploitation of the mineral. The French orchestrated this by feeding the Burkina army wrong intelligence that landed the troops into jihadist ambushes and conducting arming of the jihadists with much superior weapons behind curtains. In fact, the French main agenda in this region was to make the situation more desperate and Ibrahim Traoré knew this. When he came to power, the French had to immediately park their bags and leave. Second on Ibrahim Traoré's security agenda was to secure the northern borders of his country. The jihadist militants are highly mobile. Burkina Faso is bordered by Mali to the north. Ibrahim Traoré knew that launching an assault against these insurgencies without securing the northern corridors of the country would be futile. As a strategic soldier, he entered an alliance with Mali to collectively combat the militants. This alliance meant the militants had no place to run in the event of an assault from Burkina Faso. The other challenge that the Burkina B army faced was lack of proper logistics for the military. This left the insurgents with superior weapons and operating capabilities against the Burkina B forces. Ibrahim Traoré swiftly sought a new defense alliance with Russia, China, Iran, and Turkey. This new alliance quickly saw Burkina Faso receive the new state-of-the-art military armor trucks, machine guns, and assorted weapons and support machinery from China. Turkey, on the other hand, supplied the Bayraktar 2 and the Bayraktar Akinci drones that are very crucial for intelligence gathering and trailing every single movement of the jihadists. Russia also sent an undisclosed assortment of weapons and military instructors to fully prepare the Burkina forces for a gruesome assault on Jibo. 
Once the shipment of weapons arrived, they were quickly sent to the infantry forces fighting at the front line. The arrival of these weapons was of three significances. One, the soldiers would now have firepower that could match and supersede that of the jihadists. Secondly, the fighting infantry had their morale boosted because they knew they had better weapons and were receiving proper intelligence ahead of time, pinpointing exactly where the terrorists were hiding and how they were prepared. This helped keep the soldiers safe from ambushes that had previously claimed thousands of Burkinabi soldiers. The population of Burkina Faso begun to see a fulfillment of the promises made by Traore as serious ones compared to those made by his predecessor Damaba. With a well-prepared and equipped force and proper intelligence, Ibrahim Traore was no African ordinary leader who just promises to amuse the population. Traore is a man of his words. The suffering of the people of Jibo seemed to give Traore sleepless nights. He ordered his newly equipped army to organize a daring delivery of much-needed aid to the people of Jibo in the far north of Burkina Faso. The troops were briefed, the Morales were high, and the bear actor Akinsi was called to play, flying way, ahead of the convoy. The bear actors were able to give the soldiers an eye in to the future. With a maximum altitude of up to 40,000 feet, the Bayer Actor Akinsi provided the ground forces with every potential risk ahead, monitoring every movement of the militants with pinpointed accuracy. With up to 26 hours of endurance, the Bayer Actor Akinsi not only provides pinpointed accuracy intelligence but can provide air support where required, as it can carry a payload of up to 1650 kilograms. The militants in northern Burkina Faso for the first time received baptism of fire from the Burkinabi forces. Days later the convoy was able to safely arrive at Jibo, delivering the much-awaited humanitarian aid. The success of this operation came with enormous implications. To the people of Jibo, they felt the world had remembered them as the much-needed supplies arrived. They also felt finally Burkina Faso had gotten a leader. To the gallant soldiers of Burkina Faso, many of whom stood behind Captain Ibrahim Trore during the coup that saw Damaba ousted, they seemed to believe Ibrahim Trore was the chosen leader who could enable them serve the people of Burkina Faso as per their oath. All round Burkina Faso, news spread about this successful delivery of the much-needed aid to Jibo. The people felt more protected and served, as confidence all around the country could be felt in processions celebrating this news. To Captain Ibrahim Troore, this was just the start of reclaiming Burkinabi land occupied by militants. Following intelligence information provided by the Bayer actor Akinsi, the military generals were brought to the planning room for another bloody assault on other terrorist bases in the north. We will bring you the details of this assault in the next video. Remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that YouTube notifies you every time we upload content like this. Also share and like this video to help many black brothers and sisters around the world find this video. Until then long live Africa.